the Paul Leslie interviews. We're down here in Key West, Florida, with Mr. Zach C. Miller. It's a pleasure to welcome him on the program. Thanks so much for making the time to do this. Thanks. Great to be here. Um, <laughs> I want him to hear me slowly and clearly. Where were you born? I was born in Tacoma Park, Maryland. Maryland. Mm-hmm. And how did you end up down here? I followed a friend down here to Key West that was uh, on a bee farm. We lived on the streets for a while, started playing and uh, music on the streets, getting tipped, and then slowly made it into the bars and realized that you can make money in music and stay for um, half the year now. So, I mean, for the last 15 years. What brought you down in the first place? First place was a friend told me that he was living on a big, like a big pine, which is 30 miles from Key West, and coming down and stay, and I made it to Key West for like years after that, but just a friend. When you got down here, what was it about the island that made you realize that this was going to be a home? I never, actually, I'm still wondering that. I realized that music goes on 24 hours a day here, basically, and you can wake up in the morning, I can do two or three shows a day here, and I can't find, I mean, I, tr- I, I live in all over the world, and I found that I can only play music in this one place, a real special place, from 12 o'clock in the morning, I mean, afternoon, until 4 o'clock in the morning, and... I've never found a place like that yet, and I travel a lot. What kind of music did you grow up listening to? Mostly folk music. For example, like Harry Chapin, Jim Croce, that kind of stuff. What kind of stuff do you listen to now? Ooh, nothing. <laughs> For some reason, I don't, I just, I found myself, I am very, I want to listen to new music these days. I'm just not inspired, to be honest. Not inspired. I look, listen to the older stuff. I listen to a lot of John Prine now. A good guy out now right now, like Hank Jr. the third, Hank the third, like his stuff. But there's not a lot of stuff that I listen to. I don't know why. I just can't seem to be inspired by it. Could be because you're performing music so much. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm doing it live, and I'm writing a lot, and and I get mad when I learn a new song, so it's actually be writing a new song. What kinds of things inspire yeah. your writing? Everyday events. Everyday events are like uh, friends living, friends dying, people getting married, people coming and saying, hey, you want to play a radio show, that kind of stuff. What is it that you like about music? Oh, it started from, I like stories, and that's what my music, I try to do, put stories and songs, because I close my eyes and try to like, lose myself in a story song. I'm a big Harry Chapin freak. And his story songs take you to other places, and when you can't be there, you can be there through music. One of the things that people will find when they visit your website, zachmusic.com, is that you, like you said earlier, you're kind of a world traveler. Of all the places that you've played or just visited, what's the one place that stuck out in your mind the most? Wow, that's a big question there. I'd have to say if I look back and I was about to put it in like a very, I'd say Key West. Key West, you know, because that's my home. You know, I live in Austria, but that's not the answer, but I'd say Key West. When someone goes and hears you perform or when they listen to one of your CDs, what is it that you hope the listener gets out of the experience? (laughs) I don't know. I think I want them, I always think to myself why I was put on Earth. I think just to make them happy. You know, I hope it's like, that's the reason, that's the reason they're listening to me and they go home with that experience of like, they have to have, because I have like, children come and see me play, old people come and hear me play, and I hope that, I'll never offend nobody, I'm not a very family friendly kind of show, I get a little cutting edge sometimes, and uh, but I can just look out in the crowd and say that, but I would think just leaving with them, um, thinking of happiness, that's the main, my main purpose in music. Very good. There are a lot of musicians down here. I was wondering, who do you think is the cream of the crop of the Key West musicians? I know the cream of the crop. It's his name, guy, his name is Caffeine Carl. Caffeine Carl? Yeah, he's the cream of the crop. He plays guitar with me sometimes, and sometimes I play with him. He is world class and badass. Is there anything on the horizon with Zach C. Miller? I hope. (laughs) Right now, I don't know. Right now, it's just writing new album, writing new songs, and a new album, and so it's day by day, you know. I'm taking day by day, and some days are good, some days aren't as good. But I've been blessed, to be honest with you, because uh, I'm living my dream, and you can hear it in my songs. I have a lot of songs like that. I'm making a living, having fun, and name a couple people that can do that. Is it certainly true? 
Well, Zach, when you're not doing the music thing, what is it that you like to do with your time as far as recreation? Well, today I was crabbing. I love crabbing. I love fishing. I love being on the water. And I love the Atula boys. And I love spending time with my boys. I love women a lot. That's they're looking at me right now and laughing. Go away, Jessica. And I love being on the water a lot, fishing. What do you look for in a woman? Oh, not much. <laughs> <laughs> if she's alive. There are a lot of great places to eat down here. I was hoping you could tell the listeners that may be in search of a good meal. Where do you like to eat down here? And when you go, what do you eat? Uh, down in Key West, oh, there's so many great restaurants here. I would pick, man, there's so many. Uh, let's see, you start. Of course, you want to go to Blue Heaven in Key West. Down there, you want to get the uh, shrimp down there, in my opinion. If you go for steak, there's a place called, either I always mix up the number, it's called Nine, like, it's called Prime Steak. Unbelievable. That's where all the boaters are in here in town for right now eating, and it's incredible. Best thing you ever have. If you want seafood, you're in the right place, Key West. You, mean, you can't go wrong with any place having seafood in Key West. But I don't want a lot of people listening to what I say because a lot of people sponsor me with these kind of places, so I'm going to like back off of that question there. Okay. Like, really. What is the best thing about being Zach C. Miller? You tell me. <laughs> I don't have a clue. You're living your dream. You're doing what very few people get a chance to do. Absolutely. I mean, that helped me out a lot. I am, I, and I say that over and over again, I'm tired because my wife has a problem when I talk about myself. She's always like, wow, man, geez, who else is there? But, because she uh, didn't get, I mean, she was her own, be as happy as me. I'm a very happy man in my life. I um, can't believe that I've, like, been making a living, make a great living, really, to be honest with you, making music and loving my job. And that's probably the best part of Zach C. Miller is loving my job. I love my job. Out of the songs that you've written, do you have a favorite of your own songs? Probably Harmony, about my daughter named Harmony. It's one of my favorite songs I've written. And another one called I Am Your Guitar. And that is a, they're all, you know, the rock and roll songs I've written aren't as, meaningful as the, of course, you want to say, cliche love ballads, and those ones are the ones, and a lot of songs that I won't play live are my favorite ones that no one hears. Yeah. And those are the ones you keep sacred. I do, at least. What about just overall a song written by someone else that has touched you, like a favorite song in that respect? Oh, there's so many. Um, these days, Bob Dylan's, there's like a party by Bob Dylan, and I'd say one would be, of course, like a Rolling Stone. Every time I sing it, it's like new. Harry Chapin's Like Flowers Are Red, that kind of story songs. Even Cats in the Cradle will be inspiring sometimes because I have children. And every night, though, I try to uh, find, make it new and close my eyes and get lost in the song. I have one final question. Thank you to the power of technology. This interview and this broadcast is going out all over the world. So my last question, coming here from Key West, what would you, Zach C. Miller, like to say to the world? What would you like to say to all those people listening in? I'd like to say, um, you don't have to listen to me, and not everybody likes me. But if you get a chance, come to Key West, you can see me live. The stuff I've recorded really isn't a, um, a good example of anything I've done. My best show is live. I, I play, I'm a... I'm a I'm a performing artist. I'm not a recording artist. So if you're ever down in Key West or if you're ever in Europe or you ever want to contact me, go to my website, which is zachmusic.com, and maybe you can check out my, um, like, lots of different crap out there you can see me on, which gets oversaturated, of course. But just, of course, I like to promote myself to say, get a chance. The best show is a live show in any music, in any musician's life, I believe. And that's about it. Well, Mr. C. Miller, I very much thank you for your time. Great to do this interview with you. Thank you. Oh, you're absolutely welcome. And thank you for the beer. Oh, you got it.